turns out, the tension between Prince William and Prince Harry may have started almost a decade ago. The ABC News special Prince Harry's Mission, Life, Family, and Invictus Games gives a deep dive into the royal's relationship with his family and celebrates the success of his Invictus Games. But British journalist Robert Jobson says in the special that the Prince of Wales may have been jealous of the success of the sports competition. The Invictus is Harry's number one passion project. It's been very successful since its outset. It doesn't come cheap, it costs a lot of money, and he's been able to continue to raise that money throughout this period, which is impressive. But I think there was a degree of jealousy about how well it had gone. I do think that William was surprised how much this had been such a success and how many, how much money was being thrown into it and how many governments were getting involved. Prince Harry created the Invictus Games in 2014. It was originally championed by the royal family. At one point, Prince William and Kate Middleton were patrons of the organization. King Charles attended some events and Queen Elizabeth even appeared in a comedy sketch with Barack and Michelle Obama. Oh, message? Oh, from Michelle. How very yeah. amazing. So you would like to watch it together? Yes. Let's have a look. Hey, Prince Harry, remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. Boom. Oh, really? <sighs> Please. Boom. However, when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left the royal family in 2020, the royals took a step back. Royal commentator Victoria Murphy explained why they haven't been involved in the Invictus Games in the ABC News special. Harry is no longer a working royal. Invictus no longer sits under the umbrella of organisations that the royal family officially are part of, and therefore they haven't mentioned it at all since Harry stepped back as a working royal. The Invictus Games are held every other year. The next game will be held in Vancouver, Whistler in February 2025. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle recently visited Canada to start counting down to the highly anticipated event.